Greetings Earthlings, Regina Abundance here and in today's video we're talking about not giving up. It is day 20 and whew, it's been a long road, right y'all? Um, we've talked about everything from <clears throat> personal development like staying focused, scheduling, things like that. We've talked about uh, different apps you can make money with to receive free products with in order to do reviews. We talked about affiliate marketing. We talked about content creation. We talked about different challenges and things and it's been a road. Like today, I didn't really feel like making the video because I'm like, I don't know what to do a video on today. So I really need to take time and write out the rest of these nine days because I'm tired of coming over here stressed about what I'm not going to, like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about or whatever. So, yeah, um, well, let's just talk about something that I feel like if I was in a situation where I'm beginning, what I would do as far as getting over the fear of being seen in content creating. I feel like a lot of people struggle with this and I still do at times. Like there's times in my mind where I'm like, oh my goodness, maybe I should just do something faceless or just take this all down. And you know, um, it's pretty much the imposter syndrome where you feel like, like, I don't know, I'm not here. I'm not at this grandiose goal right now. So, can I even share any value, things like that. And then, you know, from beating yourself up, thinking about like, you know, oh, I could have did this better. I should have continued, <clears throat> continue with this. I should have, um, I should have posted more. I should have did more. I can be doing more. Or you have your ideas and then you don't act on them and then you just get depressed or sad. And then it's just like a cycle of you not taking action. So... But at the end of the day, you're just going to have to start, even if you're afraid. What's it called? Exposure therapy. Just actually get on here, start recording, make a promise to yourself and to your audience that you're going to show up every day and continue to do that. So we're doing TikTok next month, um, t the 10 videos a day TikTok challenge. We're trying to get up on there and get into their um, TikTok shop or whatever. So there's a lot going on. Um, we have the Amazon Influencer Program. We're trying to be affiliates. We're trying to do this and do that. And it's just a lot to juggle. But as long as you're making progress towards your goal, don't be so hard on yourself. But if you're literally just watching this and you haven't, you saying you're going to start a YouTube channel and you haven't, I really believe that today's the day you should do it. Even if it's just one short video or anything, like just get started. That's the only way you're going to get to your goal. And then, like, sometimes we go so hard trying to reach our goals that once we get it, can we really even enjoy it and bask in it? So, say when I do eventually get monetized on YouTube, am I really going to go hard and create more content in order to even, you know, continue the monetization or whatever? It's like, you have to really learn to love it at the end of the day. You have to take action and... Um, don't let your mind keep you in the same place that you were and sabotage you. I, I feel like we talked about sabotage. We talked about how, you know, you could be doing good financially with something and then you just let it go or you don't pay it as much attention. Then you see another shiny object. You see another income opportunity and you just say, hey, I'm not doing, you know, you just neglect it and then that income starts going down then you start building another one instead of just sticking with something and being like okay I could commit to three days a week posting a YouTube video or 30 days doing a 30 day challenge or something and then it's like what does nobody watch your videos and then it's funny because <laughs> if you think about it we're so afraid of oh what if somebody um sees our videos knowing that we ain't getting no views anyway so what's the issue nobody's even watching your videos so right now anyway so especially if you're coming out as a new youtuber or somebody that don't have a lot of exposure right now nobody's watching your videos the possibility of you going viral is i mean i don't know i can't really it's pretty low a lot of people think it's easy to be viral but i don't know i never became viral or whatever but the point is why are you afraid that somebody's going to see your video if you don't even 
have any videos posted. So it's like, I can see if you posted a video, then I'm like, oh my goodness, who might see this? Because after you do post it, you might have those box too. But just posting a video, you, you ain't getting no views anyway. So why are you even, it's funny how we psych ourselves out. Why are we even concerned about, oh my goodness, somebody might see this video when nobody's watching our videos. And then, um, you know, it's just crazy the way we think and the fears we have and the things that hold us back. And it's all in here. So we got to keep changing that. And we do that by keep showing up. And I'm pretty sure there's nobody around you doing what you're doing. I mean, I have a few kind of content creators in my family, but nobody that's like really a YouTuber, nobody that's really like doing content creation full time or even like really making money online besides uh, my little brother. He's more, um, he's online or whatever, but he's not, you know, showing his face, but there's nobody really in my direct circle well, yeah, I guess you could say since he's on eBay or whatever that he's he's making money online, but not like content creation or at least like put your face to to something that's really big. And I'm human. Um, I bleed just like everybody else. I have fears just like everybody else. And I'm willing to show up because I know the rewards that can come from this um, long term or whatever. And I just know, like, I always listen to YouTube. I watch YouTube a lot. So I know, and when I'm watching YouTube, I'm like, oh my goodness, I should be posting. Like, that's why I'm saying post more than you scroll. Like, we should be posting way more content and um, creating content. So it's like invest, learn, teach. You got to watch some videos. You learn something from it and then you teach somebody else. Or you just get a word and just get downloads into you and just share what you can. So you never know who's going to be watching you, who you can inspire or whatever. And some people like the boring people like me. I mean, I like the tea, but there ain't really a lot of tea with me. I'm just a simple girl who likes to, you know, party, have a little drink or whatever. I like to, um, you know, I, I like to try to make money online or whatever. It's really fun. I like uh, makeup, beauty. I like stuff like that. So, you know, just got my one crazy family or whatever and I'm just like a down-to-earth regular person like I'm not trying to be some kind of crazy superstar or maybe you're worried about trying to get a like we just stop ourselves you think you need a fancy camera you definitely don't this is I'm recording on the iPhone 6 I ain't want to tell y'all but it, it's true this is an iPhone 6 but I just got to free up some storage on my other um, phones or whatever but it's like a lot going on and then um what else like there's just so much that can hold us back. You think somebody from high school might see your videos. I don't know why y'all y'all think this way. Why do I think this way sometimes? It's like crazy. Um, but yeah, just keep sticking it out and keep putting your message out there. Keep doing your thing. You don't even have to show your face at the end of the day. And then even if you do do a faceless thing, it's like, do you even have the motivation to create the content doing faceless there's just really no excuse at this point you don't even got to get on here and be vulnerable you can go on there do a little faceless cooking thing or something then you like oh my kitchen ain't up to par but it's like you know people are living regular lives you let this social media make it seem like everything's like glitters and golden and like people are living this real luxury lifestyle but i keep things pretty simple i mean i do like to uh I do like nice things, but I know there's levels to it and I'm willing to, you know, go and do what I have to do, but I just have to stop um, and just remember why I'm doing this. I'm doing this so I can put myself in a better position. I'm doing this so I can create passive income and I won't have to, you know, work as hard. But then you figure retirement, they say uh, when you retirement and when you retire and people retire, they kind of die inside like they're like you're more likely to like if you're not doing something and don't have a purpose it's like yeah you just kind of die inside and get depressed um I feel like you have to have hobbies and stuff like I just started the bowling league I'm going to post a uh TikTok today of <laughs> me bowling I'm you know just doing different things that don't necessarily always want to have to make you money but just having different hobbies and different things in life, some some purpose, some social community or whatever, like will just keep you and your mental health good. Like, you know, and just sitting, I noticed that 
like when I was sitting around, if I'm sitting around for a long time, I kind of get kind of get sad for some reason. I'm like, oh my goodness, I got to get moving because it's the only reason I'm getting sad is because I have to move that energy around. You got to move it around so you can like start creating. And then when I'm starting creating and I'm really into it, like I didn't know what else I was going to talk about when I started this video, but then I start talking and I'm like, okay, it just comes out. And then, yeah. So the message of today is just get started. Like there's really no reason. And, and oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Like even like and I always had this thing like, oh, I'm going to work so much or invest so much or whatever so I don't have to work again. But I still know that in the back of my mind, I'm going to keep wanting to do things. I'm going to always want to do something new. I'm always going to want to do this or maybe start coaching, start, you know, just whatever. I'm like getting to writing again. Like there's always going to be something that I'm going to be doing. So don't think of business as a means to an end like okay we'll start this business make money make a whole bunch of money and then i don't have to do nothing anymore i've been there and done that like just not doing anything anymore your income stops but say if you did have so much money that you never have to work again you still want to have purpose in life you know think about all the celebrities or people not necessarily celebrities they probably might be broke too but like just people like that's really well off or whatever because they're living in their purpose and having fun or whatever. Don't you want to have a life where you just like, you just enjoy doing it. The money's just uh, a bonus on top of it. You don't want to have a life where it's like, oh, I got to get up and do this. I don't want to dread doing this. That's the only thing they say when you start doing what you love and try to monetize it, you might stop liking doing it. So I never want to get to that point. I do want to get to the point where I'm like, don't have to work again. But at the same time, I want to get to a point where... I'm doing, I'm living a life I love so much that the money is just like, it's not a big deal to me. But right now, yes, the money is a big deal to me. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, yes, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to, I do want to monetize my life or whatever. So, yes. So that was a good word. I mean, I, I felt it. I need to start watching my own videos to get motivated. Like, this is crazy. So anyway, so uh, this is day 20. We're going to get into my tea, my personal situation of what I'm doing in these 30 days. If you're still interested, stick around. So 30 days of abundance. The purpose is to develop new habits that will improve relationships, health, beauty, and money. Focus on doing tasks you can control. Focus on your output, not what you're going to gain in the end. You control your destiny. So self-love and personal. Y'all going this is ridiculous. You know what? I listen to a lot of things. Maybe I'm just going to have to be one of those people that listen to audiobooks because the reading, actual physical pages, I don't know what mental block is keeping me from it, but it's getting kind of annoying. But I, I don't need to beat myself up. I've been doing other things. I've been posting for 20 days. Like, we just got to give ourselves grace if we're actually working towards something. Now, if you ain't doing nothing, you ain't you ain't right. And you need to be feel a little bit of shame so you can kind of get your <laughs> get up and get pushing. Uh, beauty routine, I've been doing that. I don't want you just sitting around listening to these videos. You should be listening to these videos. I want you to be taking action on the apps. That I'm, you should be saying, hey, yeah, with Cal, I made this. Like, let's start interacting. Like, what are y'all doing? I need to be like, oh, well, yeah, I did. Uh, so I did. I was looking yesterday. I was like, how many campaigns did I do? I did um, nine campaigns so far. I still got one in the, and I'm about to go uh, and do two more um, campaigns. I'm talking about for Stack Influence for Kale. I think I did like six. So yeah, I see, I see the action. I'm doing the action. So I gotta just calm down. Relationships, step away from business at 7 p.m. daily and give undivided attention. Weekly date night. I uh, saw and watched movies and we ate steak at home. Yep. Health. Eat paleo 90% of the month. Exercise 30 plus minutes daily. So exercise, daily walk. I'm supposed to be doing 10K steps. That's the goal eventually, y'all. Bike as a backup. I haven't exercised at all this week. I'm not happy about it either. Like, I was supposed to do it today. I got up. I was like, you know what? So what did I do today? I mean, besides making my bed, um getting prepped for this so yeah I did my toenails and I was just like getting dressed for the event tonight but anyway let's get into the food I'm supposed to be eating paleo style which is basically like fruits veggies and meats like the caveman diet what the caveman used to eat like I'm supposed to be doing that 90% of the 
this time. I just want to eat more whole foods and stuff. I got to go grocery shopping and really get some, some fruits back in the fridge. Like, you know what I mean? Instead of eating snacks, which I haven't been doing. I've been doing good at not really eating snacks besides that birthday cake. Uh, <laughs> um, I've, I've been eating, uh, I've been not like partaking in a lot of snacks, so I'm proud of myself. So yesterday, oh yeah, I did, I did get crazy a little bit. I had some crackers, but it's okay. I give myself grace. So for lunch, I had four chicken wings because I didn't want to do the rice. I'm trying to cut down on like rice and the carbs and stuff. I don't know. And then I, so I did the four chicken wings and the egg roll. My dad always buys me lunch for, uh, when I work with him, I work with my dad once a week on his real estate business. So I did that, and then for dinner I did one wing. I went, uh, like I said, I joined bowling. I went bowling yesterday. I'm on the crew. <laughs> my partner didn't show up, though. But yeah, it's okay. Um, one wing, and then I had a steak salad again. I'm a loving for a steak salad. I could just eat salads all the time. And then um, what else? I did have some drinks because they, you know, at the bowling alley, but I waited till I got to the bowling alley, so that was later on. So I didn't have that many drinks. Um, you know, I just took a little bit of uh, the bottle I had left and drank and had some fun. It was fun. I had fun bowling. And I got good. At first, I only had 55 points. That was all the way up to 155 points. Like, mm-hmm. I'm about to be up on it, and I'm about to get some pink bowling shoes. I'm about to make it. Oh, yeah, and the ball I chose, they just thought it wasn't practical at all. The ball I chose... People just kept trying to give me pointers or whatever. And the ball I chose was pink. I've seen the pink ball. There was no other pink balls. And it was it stuck with me. So I, I just hope I can get that one next time. But they was like, maybe you should get a ball that's like heavier. Some people were saying, oh, that ball might be too small for your head. But it was working. So but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I was like, why they, they was like, why do you choose that one? Because it's pink. And they was just like, oh, my goodness. So money, goal, post for 30 days on YouTube, video 10 plus minutes. You already know I'm showing up for that. We just got to stop with this and make a list of the rest of the week. I mean, the rest of these nine days. I can't believe we're almost whew, September or something else. Weekly money goals. Two stack influence campaigns a week. One cow challenge. Ten Amazon review. Amazon influencer reviews a week. So as far as stack influence, um, yeah, I did the water flosser for my mouth. I did that yesterday. So that's posted on my shorts and my YouTube on this channel too if you want to check it out. So I did that one. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, so I, I'm trying to, well, I did send off, I went to post off yesterday, and I sent off the thing for the five strands, which is like the allergy test to see what I'm allergic to. Um, you know, as far as foods or foods that might not get well, get on well with my gut. Like I'm into like trying to make sure I'm, you know, eating the right things. See what really affects me. Um, what else? Uh, for kale. So I'm going to uh, claim another challenge or two today on Stack Influence. Uh, I don't believe, see y'all got to get on it. I was so mad because I was like, oh, I'm going to wait on it. I'm going to wait on it because there's some stuff I got to get on Amazon. I'm like, oh, I'll wait. And then I wanted to do this candle on Stack Influence and I was gone. Sometimes like they only have so much on our brand. So, but yeah, that little candle I want to do is gone. Oh, I love candles. Why didn't I take action? And when I first seen it, I already knew they was going to get that one. And you know, the brand only can only afford to, you know, give away so many, which is understandable. If I ever get to the point where I'm doing my little brand, I mean, I got some stuff on Amazon, but I I don't, I don't know. That would be interesting, me putting it. Uh, I always think of myself in the shoes of the business owner, like me putting some of my jewelry or something on Stack Influencer so um, people can, you know, tag me or whatever and get reviews for my product. That's actually a really smart idea. And being that jewelry is so... Um, you know, so the inventory is lower price. I could definitely probably do that. I could do that. And it's like a very specific type of jewelry too. Like most of it's Afrocentric or stuff. But I have some general ones I can put on there. I need to do that and then show y'all like, I just want to see how it's going to work. I, I should do that. Oh yeah, speaking of that, Amazon. I forgot to tell y'all. See, this is great. I forgot to tell y'all, I definitely got a sale. I got a sale, y'all, on Amazon. Uh, I'm happy because, you know, I always get sales from the 
it's, uh, what is it, fulfillment by merchant or whatever, me actually shipping the orders on Amazon. Y'all probably don't know nothing about that because I hardly do that one either because I always do the uh, Amazon Prime. But, you know, you can order stuff directly from a, uh, you will pay shipping usually on that. Um, you can set it up to where you have free shipping or whatever, but it didn't come from Amazon. It came from my inventory. So I have been doing that, selling earrings that way. But guess what? I got to sell. Remember I sent all that inventory to the fulfillment center. I finally got to sell on a pair of earrings. I was so happy. And it's just so nice. I didn't have to ship nothing out. I love it. Uh, I used to be on Amazon FBA a long time. So fulfillment by Amazon. We got to get on that, y'all. Did we talk about that? We talked about it, fulfillment by Amazon. No, we talked about both. But we did talk about that. So go back today, whatever it was. <laughs> on here and we'll talk about Amazon so y'all gotta get on Amazon that's so nice just like you send it to the you send it to the warehouse and then you get a sale and I don't even think they even emailed me or nothing maybe they did but on my app I seen like oh I got a sale yay I miss those days um what else Amazon affiliate uh I got 137 so yeah books I got two orders for books yesterday and that's about it. Oh, yeah. So yesterday I did do my orientation with Quick. Soon as I do a Quick, uh, soon as I sign up, I still got some things to do to sign up. Like I got to upload my payment information and I need to, that picture I got on there is not cute because before the orientation, they make you take a picture of yourself or whatever. But the orientation was good and it was really easy, just like the InstaWork one. They just basically asked you, there's no reason to be intimidated. They do ask you to uh, put on your business attire. So I just put on a little, my little shirt that I usually wear when I'm doing my event serving. And then, um, yeah, I, uh, I talked to the little lady and it was cool. She just asked me what my experience was, how long I was at my last job, or um, have I done any other work? In relation to all the ones that they have which is usually in the hospitality industry so yeah I have a lot of experience with that and I told her about InstaWork and she was you know she was like oh yeah she knows about InstaWork so yeah I had to, I got to use that experience on there so yeah oh yeah I want to get my food handlers card too because well I don't even need that for event serving so I don't know I do got my RAM cert I got to upload that on there it's probably somewhere in my email I took that like forever ago but anyway, yeah, I did my orientation. It wasn't intimidating at all. They just asked you what your experience is. It's not like this, like an interview or like, oh my goodness, am I going to get the job? I, ugh, I don't like that. I really don't. That's what I like about InstaWork too and um, like gig apps like that is that, you know, you get to choose what you want to do, where you want to work and what shifts you want to pick up. There's nobody trying to choose you. Like, I want to be the one to tell you when I want to do what I want to do. Anyway, get on quick. Uh, I'm going to put my referral code down below and this one is you should do it because um, I actually learned about quick from a insta workshop shift that was working an event server shift so I met this girl and she was like yeah get on quick and then eventually I seen her again at another shift and she was with quick again and she was like insta work don't even give you anything anymore they used to both give us both fifty dollars or something they don't do that no more. I'm not happy about that. I guess they're so popular. Now, Quick is giving away $100, and you can't get it unless you sign up. Well, you can get it, but you would have to sign up like Google somebody that referred you. So it makes sense to use somebody else's uh, referral code because I'm getting $100, she's getting $100, but it's after I work four shifts. So after I work four shifts with Quick, I'll get my extra 100 okay? And that's a whole shift worth of work. So... I'm going to leave my referral code for y'all so y'all could definitely sign up for quick and get your $100 after you work your four shifts. So, yes. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. We'll be talking about quick soon. You already know. I'm trying to get uh, get the people to get their $100 and they get their $100 and you get to, you know, be up on that app. Uh, what else? So, I posted on Argina Abundance YouTube and... Instagram and Facebook for my natural hair masters. So this was a great video. It turned out really well. I got to do the game plan. I don't want to come here tomorrow. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but we got to get these nine days. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I see there are some people that are watching this. Thank y'all so much. Um, just thank y'all so much for y'all support. I hope y'all are 
on the grind. I hope y'all doing y'all 30 days of abundance, doing something, you know, just pushing forward. And don't, don't be too hard on yourself, but don't be lazy either. Like, as far as, I feel like being lazy is not doing nothing. And then having grace is you're doing a little bit, but at least you're doing something. So have grace with yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell, Cottontail.